Um, one of the biggest apps, aspects that I help in is, is with lending. Um, you know, we have members that call in for loans every day, all day. We do close to probably 300, 400 applications a month. And I think one of the biggest and the, the greatest you know, benefits of my position is being able to help those that might not get approved at a traditional bank. Um, knowing that their utilities are about to be shut off, but they have their direct deposit with Community First. They've had that 20 year relationship with us. Um, you know, they, they know us and we know them and we're able to come in and we're able to help you know, save their financial lives in a way. We get their utilities saved, get the Alliant Energy um, bill paid, um, and then we can help them with the car loan maybe in three or four or six months. So we create those, those stepping stones for them and it starts with that, that life, literally life-saving moment of when we've turned the utilities back on or stopped it from being turned off. So for a credit union to be a not-for-profit institution basically means that, that we are giving that revenue back to the members and the communities. Um, I spoke earlier about kind of giving back to the communities in a way of student loan scholarships. Um, we also do grants. Um, marketing is setting up events um, for any nonprofit you know, that, that needs the help really. Um, just to create those ties in the community to let them know that we are here and if we're profiting, they're profiting. Um, if you see low interest rates, you know, as a credit union, as a nonprofit, we have those low rates because the members trust us and they're bringing us their business. It's not profiting shareholders, it's going right back into their pockets as essentially a member or shareholder of the credit union.